my fiber. Whoa, 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 what happened? So you got the YT trailer right there. You stoked to demo some YTs? As you guys can tell, YT Industries. Uh, we are back. This time we actually have reservations, which is really awesome. I'm gonna demo, uh, we're both demoing Capra 29. So the long travel bike from YT. We, we just got into the headquarters and what, what are you, are you buying another bike, dude? I got a problem. <laughs> we ran into Wes buying another YT. So that just shows how cool they are, but That's right. nice freaking seeing you out here, dude. We'll ride tomorrow. A little demo center, freaking awesome in here. So rad. So weird. So Hannah's got her bike. She's ready to hit the trail in her new 510 flip flops. <laughs> this is gonna be Hannah's demo bike. She's got the medium Capra 29. It looks like that's a Lyric up front, some code brakes. They got that, she's running the E13 program. So I think this is the pro build. I'll give you guys the description, like I'll put the actual bike model in the description of the video. But, and so this is the bike I'm gonna be riding. I got the same thing, except she's got the carbon frame. I have the aluminum frame. The reason I went with this is so that I can have something a little bit more affordable, just realistic for other people. Give my opinion on this build. It's a 2XL, the reach actually isn't that bad. It's about 10 millimeters longer than a Firebird. You got these GT split spline wheels, a Lyric fork, with a charger dampener, surprisingly. Um, code brakes and a SLX drivetrain with an E13 cassette. I'm super pumped. I've actually never taken a YT on the trail. So this is gonna be really rad. I know a lot of you guys have had some questions. So question. what's your question? So if you were to go with this bike, do you think you'd get that double XL or do you think you'd get the XL? That That's a good question too. I, I don't know. I need to ride it and find out. I need to ride it. I looked at the XL on paper and it actually looked a little bit short. So who knows? Maybe I'm actually a two XL, but I'm also ridiculous with my sizing. I like to up size bikes. Hannah's bike is actually a little bit shorter than I think you're going to be used to. So I yeah, wonder. Yeah, I recognize that. I felt really squished in the cockpit just riding over to the van. Does it wheelie? Oh, it, oh whoa, whoa, that dropper post. Uh, so <laughs> I think I'm with Hannah on the dropper post. I just slid down mid wheelie. Okay, so we've been riding for literally two minutes and my butt is already killing me <laughs> the cool thing with the demo program is you just you don't even have to drive to the trailhead you literally park at yt leave your car there and like probably took us like two minutes to get here out of the saddle climbing up this super steep section oh climbs really well bike is sticking to the ground a little bit of bob but not that bad <laughs> What's going on there, Hannah? I'm looking for my eagle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so Hannah apparently misses her eagle drivetrain. Like I said, that is the E13. So I think your easiest gear is a 46. So we are making our way up this. This will take us to a couple of single track downhills. We're just looking at trail forks. And uh, hopefully we pick a good one. What about these views? Oh my gosh. This is freaking insane, you guys. In all honesty, like we're super lucky to uh, live here, but I, I, we don't actually own any property or have an apartment. <laughs> we're lucky to park our van here. <laughs> and so I am following legendary Hannah. And man, I haven't been on a bike that I'm not an owner of in a very long time. Normally I just buy the bikes and demo them. So this is a very interesting experience for me. You can definitely feel that bob though. I don't want to say it's a bad pedaler because it's actually doing really well. But at the same time, in comparison to like a DW Link, feeling a little bit of kind of squish back there. This is so epic. All right. Woo. Yeah, Hannah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do we got coming up? Whoa. This looks steep. <laughs> What do we got? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to go up there and hit that again? Big wheels keep on moving. <laughs> Big wheels do keep on moving, Anna. Good job. I think I like this bike a lot. It's really similar to that Nomad I demoed a few months back. Yeah. The new Nomad. Um, I think it's the burliness and the amount of travel it has. All right, Hannah's coming down. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hannah's flying. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, Hannah. Oh, oh man. 
This trail is definitely rutted. Huh. Yeah, Anna. Oh, this feels so much different than my fiber. Whoa, 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 what happened? <laughs> Oh yeah, Hannah! <laughs> I was going too slow and then I was about to go this way and I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh shoot, that's not right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing hurts? We found our teaser clip. Yeah, <laughs> I think we found the teaser clip too. Yeah, I like, I got a little messed up over there. I like slowed down a little bit and then I came into this kind of fast and then I slowed down because I was like, oh shoot, because I was lighting myself up for this. Oh, like, yeah, that oh, shoot. Been bad. And then I tried to get over here, but then I ended up just sort of falling down this. How about we have a new rule? For, okay. First day on long travel 29er wow. demos, let's take it easy because we're two for two. And, whoa! Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Hannah CrossFit. <laughs> you told me you wanted to try rock climbing the other day. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what to do. I do. Uh, she's, <laughs> you got it, Hannah. You got it. Yes! Yeah. Yes! No! Don't fall! Oh! Oh! Yes! She made it! Woo! Strong, independent woman. <laughs> All right, Hannah's coming down for take two. She is flying. Can I even get this bike? It actually, in some sections, it feels like an XXL. There we go. Yeah. And the brakes are also really interesting as well. These codes, a lot of stopping power, but definitely not the strongest initial kind of bite when you fall on that lever. Which way is it? Well, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> and he's going for it. Eye of the Hannah. <laughs> oh, she's got it. She's got it. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that was so awesome. We're really lucky that uh, that Hannah didn't jump that. <laughs> that sinkhole is pretty big. <laughs> so I think we have a problem. Hannah really likes the bike. Really like it. <laughs> it feels like it plows things a little bit better. Yeah. I don't have to be as good of a rider to to go fast and be a little bit crazier. How's it feel in comparison to that Ritmo that you tried? The Ritmo was a lot more nimble. Did you like the stability of the Ritmo or did you feel like it wasn't like stable enough? It wasn't stable enough. You this felt like was way more stable. Oh, okay, so this is yeah. more stable than the Ritmo. Yeah. Following Hannah down this one. Hopefully it's a fun one. Whoa. The ruts are plentiful. Oh. Yeah, Hannah. Really awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I'm gonna go high, see if I can catch her. Testing out how the uh, YT Capras handle steep stuff and they've been doing really well, for me at least. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely getting our little pucker fest out of the session. Yeah, Hannah. Good job, Hannah. Whoa, look at those jumps. Yeah, I only hit jumps unless the lip is that, uh, that's actually not steep enough. I need those steps, the lips to be a little bit steeper. All right, so somehow we found our way out of there. That place is a little confusing, but I would say some epic freaking riding. You like it, Hannah? I just like this bike. Hannah might just really love that bike too, you guys. We might have a problem. That bike looks good on you too. Comment in the description if that's the color that Hannah should get on this bike. All right, so unfortunately, it's time to give the bikes back. And I think this is the moment where Hannah cries. <laughs> Are you, uh, you disappointed, Hannah? Oh, <laughs> Hannah really wants that bike. Right, so we might have to make it happen, but that's the cool thing. They've got like this little doorbell right here that you kind of ring. And then hopefully they let us in. All right, so we're back in the van and Hannah's a little depressed because she doesn't own that bike. Do you think it's the bike or do you think it's the 29 inch wheels? What's your review on that? Uh, probably a combination of both because when I rode the Ritmo, it was definitely a lot different. Um, but the pedaling is kind of the same because of the 29 inch wheels. So that part's the same, but the, the stability and the way it can plow through stuff is definitely um, due to the bike. But do you think you're going to be going back to small wheels? No, you're next. 
Next bike's gonna be a 29er. I think so. You were yeah. freaking ripping today. Good job. I like it. Thanks. Um, so for my review, um, like I said, I definitely think that it does bob a little bit more so than like a DW Link style bike, but at the same time, I felt like traction was pretty insane on it. That bike literally felt planted to the ground. And I was also really surprised with the aluminum. Like, even though, yeah, it wasn't necessarily as crisp as the carbon bikes that I've ridden, I still think it was pretty mind blowing in terms of like the performance for how much that bike actually cost. And I was actually super stoked on it. So I don't necessarily think you need a carbon bike to each their own, each one rides a little bit different. I would say if anything, this bike felt, I can even really feel the flex in it being aluminum. So their aluminum is actually really rad. Um, in terms of componentry, I was a really big fan of the fork and the rear shock, the rock shock lyric stuff. I know I give rock shock a little bit of a tough time, but the E13 was pretty cool. But at the same time, I think I would stick to just a standard Shimano drivetrain. The brakes, I would probably put XT4 piston on there. I'm not really a fan of the code RSs. And the wheel set, the DT Swiss uh, M1900 spline, it's like the more kind of budget oriented wheel set. I thought I actually ended up doing really well. It felt like the engagement wasn't the highest, but at the same time, I couldn't really tell that it was a budget wheel set. So I'm very impressed with that build. I'm really happy I tried the aluminum just because it kind of goes to show that you don't need a carbon five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollar bike. That bike rode really well. The other cool thing, I thought the demo experience was really cool. I mean, to be able to demo a bike for free is pretty insane. So super out of IT. Everyone inside there was super helpful. They really help you dial in your bike, get it all set up. And the trail system is right there too. So highly recommend checking them out, trying a YT before you buy. Um, I'll put the description in the description of the video. I'll put a link to YT, their headquarters, the address, and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you guys. Right awesome. You. You. <laughs> <laughs>